Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael and in today's tutorial, we will take a look at how to use the particles extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I'm going to locate my particles extension. I already have it installed and then I'm going to bring it on my canvas in here. Now this particular extension works with um, objects such as layers to, to be able to serve as the background property. So to continue with this, let me just uh, move my extension to the side and then come back to my two box and then this time around locate the layer two. So let me click on layer and then let me expand this here. So I expand this um, to a desired size and then I'm going to double click on this and then make sure I have this relative horizontal size and turned on as well as the alignment to center and then I'll go ahead and click on OK and then maybe change the background color of this to something deeper so it makes it easier for me to see my extension. So now what I'm going to do next is to double click on this extension and then take a look at the options available in here. So you realize that once you open the extension properties, the first on the list is ID. Now this ID over here is the layer that you have that you want this particles extension to serve as the background property of it. So you're supposed to set the ID to the name of the layer. So let me just get the name of this layer here, which of course, um, this is layer, um, this index layer one. So let me just paste that in here. So this has um, this particular layer as the, um, the object that is going to affect or apply the um, animations to. Now the next thing is to have um, the kind of animation I want to have with this particle. So when you click on the drop down arrow, there is true and false to lines. So in case you want to have lines, of course, you want to have lines as you click on the particles and more lines are created. So this is going to be untrue. Since I'm using a black background color, I'll set this or I'll leave this on white. Now the number of lines that should be created, maybe um, 100 is fine. And then the point color should also be white. So it makes it visible because of my color. And then the point size, probably I'll leave it on three. And then the random size, um, that is if you click um, on to create a particle, the kind of sizes that should be created should be created randomly. So I'll leave that also. And then the interactivity, how do you want to interact with the particles, which is going to um, be created? So this is going to be on click. So I'll leave that also. And then on click mode, how do you want the uh, particles to be created? Is it going to be push? Is it going to bubble? Is it going to remove? Depending on how you want about it, is how you're going to go about it. So let me set this to bubble. And then the hover mode. So once you hover over the particles, should there be some sort of interactivity? So yes, I'll leave this on true. And then when I hover also, what should be the property for it? So since I have this one set to bubble, maybe this is going to be on grab. And then you come to the final part, which is how the particles are going to move. So do you want it to move at all? Yes. Do you want it to move to a specific direction? So if you want a specific direction, you select that to maybe um, to right. And then also out mode also, do you want it how, when, once it is going out or it is um, fading away, how do you want it to go out? So you probably also specify that. And then finally have the speed of the um, move. So I'll leave this also on six and then click on OK. So it's time for me to preview the, um, how the extension is going to affect the background of my layer. So as you can see, because I specify the direction to the right, it's moving to the right and then once I click, you realize that the sizes are created randomly for my um, particle. So this is basically how you can go about using the uh, particles extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I have tried this with layers and it worked for me. Let me try this also with a grid and see if it's going to work well. So let me double click on this and get rid of this and then get the name or the ID for this grid. Come here, chain this to it. And then let me populate my grid with something. So it makes it easier for me to have some um, length here. So let me change this to, let's say about um, three part four, I think four is maybe six. Six is fine. Let me set part into the top. And then let me change the background color to maybe black. Click on OK. Let me change this again to maybe 50 and then 50. And then let me preview this also in the browser and it worked also. So basically, yes, this is how to go about using the 
particles extension. Now, the reason why I wasn't having, once I click here, it wasn't working is because I have text here. That's how come. So once I click at the top, you realize my particles are being created. So this extension works with um, as the background property of objects within your project. So go ahead and then try it out and then let me know your thoughts about it. And as usual, in case you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly go ahead to subscribe and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.